more than two decades after a California college student went missing from campus, never to be seen again, a budding podcaster named Chris Lambert decided to look into the case. Your Own Backyard began somewhat tentatively in September 2019, with Lambert admitting he really didn't know what he was. Now two men are about to go on trial in connection with the disappearance of 19-year-old Kristen Smart, and police give much of the credit to Your Own Backyard. Driven largely by an obsession with true crime in the United States, the podcast is one of a growing number being produced by Everyday C. Text with the USA Today newsroom about the day's biggest stories. Sign up for our subscriber-only texting experience. Your own backyard was certainly a godsend for Denise and Stan Smart, who never gave up hope that their oldest daughter would be found and her killer brought to justice. Kristen Smart, a bright, adventurous communications studies freshman at California Polytechnic State University in San Luis Obispo, went missing on May 25, 1996. The last person to see her alive fellow freshman Paul Flores, was arrested in April 2021 and has been charged with her murder. His father, Ruben Flores, is being charged with accessory to murder after the fact, accused of helping his son get rid of Kristen's body. They have both pleaded not guilty. Their attorneys are barred from speaking to members of the media because of a gag order. Lambert did not fathom that his podcast would help lead to arrests in the case. At least once a day I asked myself, what are you doing? Lambert says in the podcast's first episode. Since I'm not an investigator, Terry's really not much help I can provide. But he set a simple goal for himself. I'm going to try to learn everything I can about Kristen Smart and what happened to her, he said. And the only way that I know how, by talking to people. Over the course of 10 episodes, Lambert interviews Kristen's parents, her best friends, her college roommate who was with her the night she disappeared, and women who knew Paul Flores.